Um, hello, my name is Gayatri Patel. Um, I'm at the University of California at Davis, and my uh, specialty is internal medicine. My interest is in comparative effectiveness research, and I worked with uh, Dr. Dan Eisen and Dr. April Armstrong on our um, systematic review and meta-analysis on the treatment of actinic keratosis with photo photodynamic therapy. So photodynamic therapy um, is a uh, relatively new uh, treatment modality where uh, light sensitizer is um, applied to a treatment area um, and then the uh, light source is um, directed to the treatment area uh, to treat a lesion. Um, it could be actinic keratosis, acne, basal cell carcinoma, several different um, skin disorders can be treated with photodynamic therapy. Um, the longest portion of the treatment is the incubation time with the photosensitizer, which can be an hour to several hours. But the treatment with the, the photodynamic, with the phototherapy, actually um, is relatively quick. Sure, there are multiple um, treatment options for actinic keratosis. Um, the most common is cryotherapy, but other topical agents are available. Um, including uh, imiquimod, uh, fluorouracil, um, and even uh, laser therapy with uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, for a primary care physician, the most common treatment uh, modalities would most likely be cryotherapy and uh, fluorouracil. We completed a systematic review and meta-analysis which incorporated 13 studies to evaluate the efficacy of photodynamic therapy to other common treatment modalities in the treatment of actinic keratosis. Um, the main outcome um, in the study was on treatment efficacy um, with complete lesion resolution of the actinic keratoses. And in our meta-analysis, we found that um, the photodynamic therapy was uh, slightly better than cryotherapy in complete resolution of these lesions. Based on our study in the meta-analysis, we found that photodynamic therapy was 14% more efficacious than cryotherapy in the treatment of um, actinic keratosis that involved the face and scalp. In our initial review of the articles, we had reviewed 875 articles, but we were looking specifically for randomized control trials, and those trials that had used uh, photodynamic therapy versus another treatment modality so that we could uh, research this from an effect, uh, comparative effectiveness uh, perspective. And so that only brought us down to 13 randomized control trials that met that inclusion criteria. And you know, I think that is one of the limitations of the of the study that we weren't able to um, include more of the other um, trials. However, uh, that's an area of research that could be further explored, where we have well designed uh, randomized controlled trials looking at photodynamic therapy with other common treatment modalities. So you know, in my own clinical practice, um, I prefer to use you know something that I can do in my office or a topical agent. But I feel particularly sensitive about a patient's uh, face and head, and so if I feel that they have multiple lesions on their um, face or scalp, then I tend to refer to dermatology so that patient can get uh, I, what I believe a more efficacious uh, treatment for their actinic keratosis.